Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I just have a quick word from the Lord to you. And we're going to start off with Jeremiah 17, 5. And Jeremiah 17, 5 says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Let me go ahead and read that again. It's Jeremiah 17, 5 says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Praise God, praise God, give him glory, give him honor. Let me tell you something, I'm just going, I have to just be very transparent as I always am. The world has taught, then came in and taught the church to depend on people. I mean, that's how people are getting robbed in the in the um, church. And when I say robbed, I'm talking about manipulated, conned. Because you are, and I'm not going to say you in general, most people, they gravitate to man more than God. And I'm, I was guilty back in the day. I was. When I first started, and I've been working with the Lord 23 years I used to do the same thing. I'm talking about put the man and woman of God on a pedestal. They're only flesh. They're only human. And here's the part. Some of them know what they're doing. That's why they call them charismatic leaders. Because they know how to they know how to woo you. As a matter of fact, that's how, that's how they're getting most of your money. I mean, most of you are giving more to the church than you are giving to God. Y'all don't hear what I just got through saying. It ain't even about the money. If you didn't understand what I just said, that you're giving most to men and not to God, I'm talking about your time, which is your greatest accent. You can't get time back. And I'm going to tell you how. When a person gets in trouble with the judicial system, what they serve? Time. When you love someone, what do you spend with them? Time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you're on a job from 8 to 5 or whatever, what do they take from you? Time. You thought it was money, huh? You thought it was this. You thought, no, time is your greatest asset. And you have to learn to spend time with Jesus the way you do that job, the way you do working out, the way you do whatever you do. Whatever you feed the most, that's what you become. Whatever you feed the most, that's what you, that's who you are. You know, they could like to clown and say you are what you eat. That's, that's true. But it's a spiritual sense, not just an emotional sense, a physical sense. You know, and this is a process. But God told me to tell you, and, and, it, and I don't mind praying for anybody. Trust me. But when are you going to develop a relationship with God? When are you going to spend hours in prayer? When are you going to labor in prayer? When are you going to get on your face and well like you ain't never well? Not just for yourself, but for your family, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father. You don't hear what I'm saying. The battle is done in prayer, people. Not talking about people, lashing out at people, hating people, unforgiving, having an unforgiving spirit, acting a fool. Mad, angry, hateful, rage. That's how people are getting killed. Because they have not learned how to... We, we have a society, especially our youth. They have so much anger in them, they can't. you can't tell them nothing. That's a spirit. That's a spirit of rage. But that's also because the church have a, have, have a broken down um, system. They used to respect adults. But now the adults don't even know how to communicate. They see it in the political scene. They see it in church. They see it on Facebook. So how do how we want them to respect when adults are not even respecting each other? All of this is in the same category. Because when you start spending time with God, God will tell you, don't say this. Don't do that. Don't go here. Because it's called the spirit of conviction, which is by the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to spend time with God to understand that. And I'm going to tell you right now, we have a, a, um, a system. To where they want to diagnose you. Oh, I'm going here. Oh, Lord, I knew you was going to make me go here. Let me tell you something. There's no such thing as mental health. Y'all can, I don't, I, I don't care. I will refute any doctor. I guarantee you. And I don't have a doctor, but I guarantee you I can come against any doctor with the scripture and tell you that's a spirit. Oh, come on, somebody, how to do it? I'll bring them on. Bring them on, please. Scientifically, what? The devil is a liar. But, it, but they do it as a chemical imbalance so they can give you pharmacia. So now you're really acting bipolar, but it's really a spirit. Come on, somebody. I don't know how I got off that subject. I, I guess somebody's on here need to hear that. 
Everything is a spirit, whether good or bad, happy or sad. You can't do it with drugs. You can't do it with alcohol. You can't do it with being ugly. You can't do it with going to see a counselor talking about, well, I need to talk out my problems. No, what you need to do is pray out your problems. Cast them spirits out. You know, we have a church that don't believe in God. No, 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 you don't. You know of God, but you don't believe in God because the Bible I read say that, guess what? Everything is a spirit. And Jesus didn't tell him, oh, you know what? Go to the doctor and get some medicine. Jesus said, bring them here. And then he laid hands on them and they were healed. They were delivered. Those spirits was cast out of them. Let's go back to the story. But you can't get this close to God without getting close to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's every morning, every noon, every night, meditating on his word. You see, I, I, I read the play. What is the play? The enemy then came into the church and said, oh, we want y'all to be successful. So we want y'all to go to college and, and live the American dream, which you find out turned out to be a nightmare. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't hating. I'm just telling you the truth. I, I did it myself. Go to college. Be the best you can because every area that I went and I did, trust me, I excelled in everything. And I'll be honest with you. I was never happy. I mean, every job I had, I, I, wait, I, I, I worked myself to the top. Oh, people didn't know like me could tell you that. Hallelujah. And it was all for, when I got up there, it was like, okay, I got it. Okay, what's this? And, and, and I'm going somewhere with this. Because y'all believe in man more than God. This is a pharaoh system to keep you oppressed, suppressed, depressed, all the presses. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. To get you and pull you away from God. So some of you are working so hard. I got I to I gotta get that money. I got to be successful. Can I tell you what I truly believe success is? Success is doing the will of God, being a servant of God, being a child of God, obedient child of God, because this hard. I ain't going to lie to you. It's hard. Sometimes you want to snap, crackle, and pop somebody. Oh, uh, what you think is a game? I, God, please keep me. Y'all know my past. Please keep me. So I get it. I get it. It's easier to, to, to you know, to smack, crack, or ever pop somebody, if you want to know the truth, than it is to stay committed. And that's why God is calling you to himself. Because pastors, pastors and preachers not teaching this. They want to keep people convicted as if they're the only one that can hear God. Can I tell you something? God wants you to grow closer to him. And I said it in the other video. God wants you to know him. He says, come closer. Come closer. Don't be scared. I got something for you. Oh, yes, I'm going to rebuke you, correct you, inspect you, and check you. He said, but I love you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that who he loves, he chastises. Hallelujah. So it ain't going to always be, um, you know. Honey, sometimes you're going to get a little salt, but it's okay because God loves you. And all I'm saying is that learn to learn God for yourself. Come closer to him. The only time people don't want to come close to God is when you don't, you dirty. That's when you don't need to run away. You need to run to him. And we've all been, uh, been guilty of that. Oh, God, I know you won't accept me because of this. You know what? Can I tell you something? He said, I'm married to the backslider. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, I'm married to the backslider. Hallelujah to his name. And truth be told, anybody could backslide at any time. Even me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that in Jesus' name, though, of course. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because every day I got to ask God, keep me. Every day I got to ask God, keep me. Every day I got to ask God, keep my mind, keep my body, keep my soul, keep my spirit, keep my mouth, keep my eyes, keep my ears. Don't let me fall. Hallelujah. This ain't no game. Don't let me fall. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't respect your pastor, your preacher, and your teacher. But what I am saying is that don't put them before God because that's what's happening. And some of them are taking advantage of y'all. Oh, I'm not kidding. Because every time something goes wrong, y'all calling somebody. Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Can I tell you something? It is time that the body of Christ learn to pray for themselves. Oh, hallelujah. Because when you start getting full of God, you can pray for yourself. You can lay hands on yourself. You can speak to yourself. You can encourage yourself. Hallelujah. Because truth be told. The closer you get to God, the farther you won't get away from people. Oh, I just said something, hallelujah. And I'm not saying don't love people. But I'm just telling you, this is a sacrificial thing. This is a close walk thing. This is a one-on-one a, a -on -one thing. This is a face-to-face -face thing with God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he'll change your spirit. He'll change your heart. Don't be scared. Hallelujah to his name. I'm just telling what God will do. Because it's real. He wants to get to know you. He wants to get to know you. He wants you to know that he loves you. He loves you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
Yeah, it's okay to ask people to pray. Don't get it twisted now. Don't take the message and, oh, she, no, 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 no. But God wants you to learn to pray. There's too many people that don't know how to pray. And look, it's a conversation. God, I don't know you. I want to get to know you. I know I've done wrong. I repent, God. Be my Lord and Savior, Father God. As a matter of fact, the sinner's prayer. Father God, I ask you to come into my heart, Father God. I ask you to forgive me my sins, Father God. Please, Father God, forgive me. Teach me how to obey. Teach me how to keep you, Father God. I, I say that you are the Lord of my life. I want you to be Lord of my life. I believe that you died and was crucified. And guess what? Came back in the flesh. Hallelujah. And sits at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. So please be Lord over my life. Help me, God, me, teach me, keep me in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Sometimes I say that because I don't know. Sometimes you can feel safe. Sometimes you don't. It's not a feeling, though. It's a spirit. So I just pray that you understand where I'm coming from because I don't just get on here. I don't have time for that. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.